make good contact, but yeah. he leaves himself a lot. He leaves Effin a lot of opportunities to come up with another safety or quite possibly even pot this into the side if it passes the eight, but I don't think so. Might go for a safety shot here once again. Oh boy. Oh boy, he found the corner. Yeah. Barely passing the nine. I mean, you're the nine ball. You're feeling the wind as that one goes by. And he nudged the eight out of the way. gotten considerably more simple for Efren. Yes, it has. I agree with you there, Chuck. That that key shot was at one. He was able to get that one to go down. That opened up a lot of space for him. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just that one shot. Yep, and the table opens up. Mm. As we said, very difficult for us to tell here in the commentary booth the angles that these players are working with. He had a great shot on that one, and suddenly... Looking now to finally get a rack after quite a while. 6-3 is your score. Remember, it's a race to nine. All the preliminary stuff, group stuff, is out of the way when it was a race to seven. Great back English on that. And look at that little triangle setting up for him. So, Efren will cut the deficit to two. And he's back on the trail, back in the hunt anyway, after dropping six straight breaks. So, finally getting something to go his way. So, let's see if he can build on that momentum. If you look at how he did it, saw that shot on the one. And remember, at the beginning of this rack, as you saw, it was a mess. So Efren's doing a great job just cleaning that up. So he will break. Now, is there a golden break in the offing here? There has not been a golden break here in the final. No. We've, he we've seen some from, from Efren. Not from Efren. But we've seen some from Django. And from Wu. And from Wu, exactly, earlier in the tournament. sorts of potential going on there but uh, no contact on any of the balls and woo now has pretty good position well he rolls out a little bit further than he would or Efren rolls out a little bit further than he would have liked time so see what Wu can do and he hustles up to the table and why not then Efren there with see a wry Efren. smile yeah well, you know, you're up the table before I even sit down so Wu has plans on that three brings it down and gets the contact with the nine so a little bit of a miss hit. Let's see what Efren can do. Well, not the sharpest of racks here by both these players, but the last two have been very subpar. Of course, Efren just glad to be back on the table. 
with a chance to draw to within one. Well, you know, we've seen momentum changes. We talk about game changes, but also also momentum changes. Obviously, Efren start out with a world of momentum. And uh, Wu striking back now. It looks like it's tilting back a little bit more towards Efren, but uh, that last shot might have hurt his chances. Let's see. It's still, you see the four at the top of the screen. Not an easy shot at all. is in fact thinking about let's see if he elects to play safety really taking a long time lining and relining and why not you get results like that great shot by Wu that was worth every second of the wait Man, oh man. Right now he's just looking at that six passes the nine and I don't think it does. He'll have to use a different approach. Well, that's always one of the toughest shots. Look at the angle. table and he does it good shot but look at the position he's given himself that is literally being caught behind oh, the eight ball is behind the eight ball what are you gonna do well actually he'll be going the other direction so not not really the best of terms to use but nonetheless that eight ball will really come into play Because he's going to have really, really awkward queuing. And the distance in the table. Because he's going to have really, really awkward queuing. And the distance in the table mm -hmm. from where he's positioned at will make this even more difficult. He asked for the extension here, and why not? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a lot of space. Very, very deceptive angles from up here. But his, well, his biggest problem right now yeah. is how is he going to get to that seven? So some sort of a safety shot, I think, in order for the youngster Wu from Chinese Taipei. <coughs> well, his problems are compounding here. Airborne. Well, this will be something. All that green, yeah. A little bit too ambitious for the youngster. And that'll bring Efren back up to the table again. Well, with a great opportunity to get this rack, finally. Yeah, well, you can see Wu shaking his head over there, but, uh, you know, he wasn't blessed with a lot of different choices. Oh, that ought to do it right there. So Efren, with this little shot here, can climb to within one. He does just that. So a little comeback of his own for Efren Reyes. He led 3-0. He trailed 6-3. Now he is pulled to within one, 5-6 in this race to nine. And that was the shot that was the undoing of Wu. He didn't have much choice, however. We'll be right back for rack number 12 in just a moment. We got a barn burner here.
was the genuine article, the bull moose, and he never did anything halfway. Teddy Roosevelt, a Brunswick table owner. Over the past 160 years, Brunswick has embraced those authentic American values and continues to pioneer new trails in design, detail, and craftsmanship. Experience the heritage of Brunswick at your local Brunswick dealer or visit us on the web. Brunswick, authentic American since 1845. Germany plays host to round 12 of the Formula One season. Two wins in a row. Michael Schumacher and Ferrari are back. Will Ferrari's electric form continue? Michael Schumacher and Felipe Massa gang up on the Renault. You can watch it live on Star Sports beginning with race day. Football lovers out there, look out for Southeast Asian football as they aim for the top corner. With Star Sports host Jin Nan and Des, showing you that the Southeast Asian football scene is alive and kicking. The top corner, Tuesday only on Star Sports. back ladies and gentlemen and uh, just as it should be in a final we have two of the best players in the world Efren Reyes trailing Wu right now six to five we're getting ready to break in a, actually three different games within one Reyes winning hands down the first portion three nothing then like lightning Wu striking winning six breaks on the trot Efren in the comeback trail Pull within one, and what a gigantic break there for the youngster. But look at the clusters that he's left. He does, however, have a shot at the two, but then after that, life gets a little bit complicated, Anthony. But I think he might be looking to line up that 3-9 combination. It could be a quick rack here, but we'll see. Okay, just a word from our sponsors here, of course, beyond uh, San Miguel, these Brunswick table that you're seeing right here. Beautiful. It's covered by the Iwan Simonis cloth. And of course, the Aramath ball, the Pro Set TV ball. It is so famous, you've seen it. Whenever you watch pool on TV, you can bet it's been the Ramas ball. And while we're on the subject, Sam Miguel joined with Star Sports and offering fabulous prizes for a viewer. Yes, we're talking about the online contest. Just Log in www.asian9/balltour.com. Lots of cool prizes. So join the party, have some fun, maybe win something along the way. Wanted to stop. It does, but I think he would have wanted that to stop a little bit earlier. Now we'll see if he does have enough space for that three-nine combination. <coughs> but he's obviously lining it up. This will be a big game as far as Wu is concerned. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to stop the momentum that uh, Reyes has gotten back. And this isn't an easy, this isn't an easy shot. Oh, he knocks that down. Is. So the combination, again, for Wu coming through for him. So he stretches his lead to 7-5. We look back on the action on that rack. You see the little bit of a mess that was created on that break. And there's the combination to break it open. So just like that, Wu strikes back. Wu Chia Ching needs one more to go on the hill. But Efren Reyes, no doubt, will have a lot to say about that. Especially now here with this break. And a few dry breaks along the way. Not too much movement here on the nine. The nine just staying put. And a dry break for Efren. No, check that. He did get one in. Let's see which ball it was. Yeah, there you go. Top right-hand corner. A lot of 
Mark Green on that one, and uh, oh boy. That wasn't the sharpest of shots. No. Geez, you wonder if that was just a plain miss hit, or maybe he didn't see the obstruction that the five could create. That was definitely a lapse in concentration once again. I think he took that shot for granted more so than anything too. else. Yeah. Not the ideal time to do it. Remember, this is a race to nine. Right now, seven five to Wu. set up for the five. Now let's see what sort of position he can get on this shot. It will greatly determine what's going to happen. Maybe this game rolls it back. Looks pretty good. Yes, it does, and it's looking very likely he's going to get on the hill here. And coming up to break, you may not say that Efren has too many chances uh, for this particular title. As they say, uh, it's not over till the fat lady sings, but uh, she's clearly warming up. Just about do it. As Wu has stopped the momentum cold by Efren Reyes. Taking the rack that he had to to get on the hill, and he leads 8 5. So one more to go, and let's see how he did it. A couple of great shots along the way, but that's the one that was the undoing of Efren Reyes. The one sliding into the five, opening the door for Wu. Let's see how he did it. Couple great shots along the way, but that's the one that was the undoing of Efren Reyes. The one sliding into the five, opening the door for Wu. Wu Jiaqing stepping through. Nice little touch there, and there's that little squeeze shot. Hard against the rail, bringing it back. And you know what, Chuck? Wu Jiaqing now on the brink of finally getting his first leg title. Absolutely. Well, Here in the exhibition. San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour, regardless of whether this is supposed to be an exhibition leg, but still, it's a breakthrough win for him oh, in yeah. this tour. And getting it against the master has to add extra spice to it. If he can hang on, now let's not write Efren off. Efren, of course, very able to make a comeback. Oh, yeah. But he's going to need some help from this kid. Well, he is, and this is a problem, as you were saying, uh, with this alternating break scenario. Efren will be ruining that shot that he made a mess of last break. Oh, there it is. Doing it with style. The nine ball on the break. Can you believe it? So well, I guess winner. he was worried about that comeback that Efren could, and po could well, yeah, quite possibly stage. That's, that's one way to do it. That's one way to counteract. So watch this again. That nine rolling over to that corner pocket, and that'll do it. So Wu Chia Ching is the winner of the San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour Guangzhou Exhibition. Let's listen to the awards ceremony right now. The winner of the exhibition. Beautiful couple there on the right hand side with the ladies. So Wu Chia Ching defeats Efren Reyes by the tune of 9 5, and he takes home the hardware. This well played final. Here in Guangzhou, China, the San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour continues. Coming up August 4th through 6th in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. That will be the third leg. And the final leg in Jakarta, 15th through 17th of September. We'll keep you
posted on times. Well, here they are right now. Qualifying time, 6 p.m. Quarterfinals at 1 p.m. We'll be with you all the way to the semis and the finals. 1 p.m. in Hong Kong. Live, the Singapore Cup 2006. Anthony and I will be there. It starts Friday, August 11th, 4 p.m. in Hong Kong. Hey, we got some great teams. Rumor has it. So don't miss that. The Singapore Cup live coming to you from Singapore. But here we are. About to say goodbye from Guangzhou Exhibition. And it's been a real pleasure, Anthony Sante. We're been up again, buddy. It's been a fantastic tournament. We saw some of the world's greatest players and Wu Cha Ching finally with a breakthrough win here in this tour. That's right. He has been disappointed in the sense that he has not won any legs of this, but maybe this will spur him on. Efren Reyes, on the other hand, still making another final. As we look at that replica of the Statue of Liberty there, all the way over here in China. I thought I was in a different part of the world. Me too. And look at the fish. They are swarming. And uh, swarming for pool also as the San Miguel Asian Nine Ball Tour will continue again from Kaohsiung on August 4th through 6th next time. But from right now, for Anthony Sante, this is Chuck Trying to hope you have enjoyed the action. Again, your winner, Wu Chiaching over Efren Reyes, 9-5 as you watch the people. Beautiful. Guangzhou, China. So we'll see you later from Star Sports. Take it easy. The San Miguel Asian Nine Bowl Tour is brought to you by San Miguel. This tournament is played with Super Aramith Pro TV Pro Cup Pool Balls, the top professional balls that guarantee high precision shots and repositioning. And the newest Aramith product is the Jim Rempe Learning Cue Ball, a self-training method to improve your control of the cue ball. Aramith, innovative pool products that bring fun and value.